hustling, simply put, is finding a way with limited resources. What's going on everybody? My name is Salem Sunni and welcome to my YouTube channel where I help individuals such as yourself be more motivated, discover their purpose and understand that you are God's very best. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Uh, today I want to continue in our series about dual market research. You want to do business in Africa or you're an African who wants to jump into business, here are some tips when you're trying to do your market research. We previously talked about doing studying your competition when it comes to market research, understanding everything that regards that. Watch that previous video is going to help you. Today we're going to be talking about your product or your service. You want to also do some market research when it comes to actually what are you going to be selling or what service are you going to be providing. Another thing whenever you talk about your product and your service is being unique and I think uh, I discussed this as I was hitting the other point is you want your product and your service to be in a point where it is easily identifiable right does this stand out between the competition we talked about competition previously so whenever you look at the product or the service and this we're talking about doing market research so you're doing all this either prior or at the onset even during your business but it's important to really think about this before starting right so that's why I'm giving a lot of you guys this information for free because I think it's very vital I want to see more success stories in Africa. I want to see more success stories about African business owners. So one of the things you want to think about is, is my product unique? And if it is unique, can I be able to showcase the uniqueness of my product in a manner that is uh, comprehensive to the customer or the client? Uh, that is something that is visible so that people can see, okay, he's a barber shop that is different because of this, this, this. She's a model who is different because of this, this, this. Their restaurant stands out or the, the service they're providing stands out because of this, 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 right? You want to be able to know the selling points of your restaurants, identify them, make them very comprehensive so that whenever you're showcasing it to others, people are like, whoa, I love that. Another thing I want to mention is I know that sometimes doing business in Africa or within an African space, you know, you could be an African who's part of the diaspora, you're not in Africa per se. I know that sometimes doing market research, I understand can be challenging because of limited data, right? There may not be a lot of people who are doing stuff within the sector you wanna jump in, so there's no really data for you to study, right? You could be like, okay, I wanna study a barbershop, but I don't know how many barbershops are in that area. Right, I, I don't, like there's not a website that says these are African owned barbershops, right? You just don't know. Like you maybe have only lived within your area, you haven't really driven around, so you don't know how far you have to go to see what the barbershop, right? You could be living in a country in Africa where, you know, Google Maps, like there's not enough people who have put their barbershops online for you to know, right? Like you just don't know. Like the restaurants you want to begin, you don't know if there's anybody who was so doing something within the specific uh, cuisine that you're trying to make or the orientation you're making, like, or the style. Like you just don't know because of limited information. Like you could go, like now today, especially for those who are outside of the diaspora, an example like being a model, it seems popular, but you don't know within the circle or the sphere of influence that you have if it is something that is there because you have limited information. But here's what you want to do. You got to find a way. You got to find a way to get the information that you need. Like, I know this is an answer that a lot of people don't like, but it's just a reality. You have to hustle to figure out, to research, and to find a way to gain the knowledge and the information that you need. Information is sometimes the difference between those who make it and those who don't. That's just a reality, right? So if there's limited data, that could tell you one thing. One, if there's not much information about it, Maybe it's just because people are not putting a lot of their stuff where the information can be found available. Because some of the information may not be online, right? If I want to start a barbershop, for example, where I live, and I don't know where, if there's any barbershop on Google and there's nothing online that talks about the barbershop, guess what's the next best thing? Call my friend, I'm like, hey John, bro, if you're trying to get a, you know, a fresh clean haircut for an important event, where do you go or who do you call? Or call, hey Lisa, listen, when you want to get your hair done, like who's the girl, who do you call to get your hair, what salon do you go to? And they give me the information. That's another way for you to get, gain market, that's market research, 
right? Market research doesn't, doesn't necessarily mean you have to do it online. It could be something that you're gaining the information by asking around, especially when the data online is limited, right? So I don't want you to be discouraged or use that as an excuse that, oh yeah, you know, listen, we looked everywhere, we couldn't do anything. You always want to still figure out a way to gain the information. You have to hustle. You know, and I know a lot of people use the, in business at least, the term hustling it seems like it has a negative connotation sometimes because people think that, you know, when you're a hustler, it's something that you, somebody who doesn't have a high financial IQ, that's actually far from the truth. Hustling, simply put, I love, I love a gentleman description of hustling. He said, hustling, simply put, is finding a way with limited resources. That's all hustling is finding a way with limited resources. So in this particular case, your data or access to that information might be limited. You find a way. You find a way to do so, right? That's the reason why we do these videos, to help you guys find a way. Maybe you never thought about calling somebody and calling your friends. Find a way, right? I want to help you to really take some practical steps on how to start, right? Find a way. Maybe you want to provide one of those gap services Right, because you just thought about that, yeah, I can provide a gap service. It's not necessarily something that I wanted originally to do, but because of how the market looked like, I can provide a service. Like, I don't know if there are services who clean up restaurants. I don't know, I could call. I could call a restaurant and be like, hey guys, does anybody clean your restaurants? Do you pay any acts of service or do you do it yourself? I call like 10, 15, 20 restaurants like that to get an idea. If somebody says yes, I'm like, who does that for you? Pump, 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 I'll write it down. So I know, I'm like, and then I go talk to those guys, oh, how do you guys clean restaurants and stuff like that, I'm interested. So you figure out, that's how you do it. If nobody cleans restaurants, then you realize that is maybe a space for you to jump in there because no one is cleaning their restaurants. Maybe another thing is when you call them and say, hey, is anybody cleaning your restaurants? No, is that something that you, you thought about maybe outsourcing instead of doing all that yourself? I know you're tired at the end of the day. You, we could have coming at night and do all the cleaning for yourself so you have a, a very clean restaurant in the morning. Or does anybody clean your dishes or anything you do? We could come and do that at night out of your you know, business hours. We'll do that so that when you come in the morning, you're ready to start rock and roll. You see what I'm saying? Like, that's something to think about. Right, that's something to think about. Sometimes the market research means calling somebody and doing the research yourself. Listen everybody, that was all for me today. Today we talked about your product and your service. Uh, we're discussing basically doing business in Africa or doing business as an African. I want to be able to help all my African business owners when it comes to market research so that you can be able to be successful and make the right decision in business. I just want to see more African success story. But listen, if this video has been helpful for you, give this a thumbs up. It really does help me. But more importantly, share it to someone who needs to hear this, right? So share this, it will really help us as well. Make sure you subscribe to our page. There's more incredible videos coming up. Remember, you are God's very best and I'll see you guys in the next time. Love you.